watching the fight. Oh, oh there we go. Why you should host a boys' night, a guys' night, get together with the guys and bond with some testosterone, whether it's a fight night or a poker. Oh, 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 oh something's going on. Something's going on. Just been reading this book, Social, by Matthew Lieberman, and he literally says that we are wired to be social. Our brains are wired to connect with other people. And in fact, if we don't connect with other people, and we're just lonely or we're just doing our own thing, we actually experience pain. More pain even than if you broke your arm or you broke your arm. He's on him! No, he hasn't! That's the end of the thing! Oh! oh that's it, man! Wow! Come on, wow! Look at that, huh? Man! He looks spent! Wow! Man, I don't know how these guys... I don't know how Conor McGregor can keep going. Well, Mark Dharma, who's a friend of mine, invited me over to his home in Hollywood and uh, another mate of mine, Ben Greenfield, came over. We got some uh, guys over there. Ben Greenfield's a health coach, a health expert, one of America's top health coaches. And we watched the fight together. Guys are a little bit silly, aren't they? Because guys actually connect with one another when they're doing an activity, like playing golf or watching a fight or watching sport or playing poker, whereas women can just very easily just sit across one another at a coffee table and go, hey, what's going on? How are you? And two guys doing that would be like super awkward, right? Mark Dharma. Mark Dharma, who would you give that round to? <laughs> My boy's Diaz, but McGregor looks like he's got a plan and he's executing it real well. Yeah, he does look pretty good. What do you reckon, Dougie? Who's got it? I got the ginger Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor? Yeah. Got Conor McGregor. <laughs> yeah. Ben Greenfield, who are you got? What's that? Who are you got in the fight? Who I got in the fight? I yeah. got chicken in the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there you go. <laughs> ah, Diaz. Diaz, huh? Oh, here we go. We got some good food here. Oh, he knocks so Matthew out. Lieberman, who wrote the book Social, says that connection is the foundation on which our social lives are founded. So, what does this mean to you? It means host a party, host a poker night, host. Uh, people coming over and watching a fight with you or watching uh, a sporting event. Be the host, bring people together, and then if you're the guest, be a great guest. Like when I went over to Mark's house, I took food. And because I took food, I was, I mean, I was, well, I would have been welcomed if I didn't take food, but because I took food, it was appreciated. Uh, ben Greenfield came, we had healthy food, there was no alcohol being drunk. Obviously, I'm the creator of the 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, so I don't drink, but no one was drinking alcohol. We were just having nice food. We had some nice beef on the barbecue and some chicken and some salad. You don't need to go out and go crazy and eat crap food and drink and get drunk. You can just get a good group of guys together and bond over a shared experience. Whoa. Man. Man, it's the final round coming. Yes! 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 What do you reckon, Jeremy? Did the right man win? Yeah. Yeah? Conor McGregor? Yep. Mark Dharma? Yeah. Is that was Conor McGregor the true winner? I thought, I thought he edged it in the earlier rounds, yeah. yeah. Then Greenfield, did yeah. the right man win? Uh, no. Really? Yeah. But Nate should have won? Yeah. So there you go, get together with a bunch of guys, bond over a shared experience, social connection is what we need to be happy. I hope you enjoyed this video, I keep releasing videos like this all the time, so I'll catch you on the next one. How do you stick to a diet? The answer is you don't, because you shouldn't be on a diet in the first place. The word diet implies that you've got this short amount of time where you're going to